Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my latest skill build for boss hunt and dungeon raids. If you're a long time subscriber, you might have seen my first build last year, uh, which is mostly for the low to mid level MVPs like GTB, Edgar, and Orclord. Now, this new build is can be used to solo kill high level MVPs depending on your gears, and also for party raids like Oracle and Thanatos. So without further ado, let's go. Uh, let's reset our skills first. Okay. Starting with the mage skills, the only must-have skill here is Frost Diver, uh, along with the uh, Ice Tomb Rune. So let's level it up first. This is a very good utility spell for healing yourself, for self heal. Next will be SP recovery, a passive skill for SP regen. And then instead of uh, adding or leveling up bolts my suggestion is to max soul strike I level this up because I have the auto holy spirit rune uh, this gives uh, auto attacks a chance to trigger the same level soul strike so max level soul strike after this the remaining points can be put anywhere and so let's just put it in firebolt and five firewall oops moving on to the wizard skills start with uh, the buffs five energy coat for helping you to tank damage then Add one side for PvP and VoE. Now max both uh, Storm Gust and the Lord of Vermilion skill. Uh, by this point, you only have nine points left to activate the High Wizard skills. So it's good to have at least level one HD an earth spell then put the remaining skill points to soul drain level 8 moving on to the high wizard skills start with the magic amplify amplify magic power this gives a huge damage boost and then safety wall for survivability now for the crowd control there are two choices stone curse or frost nova i prefer frost nova mainly because it's faster to activate and it requires no blue gemstones for the remaining points um i decided to just get the passive skill alight since you already have a crowd control spell, Frost Nova. No need to put a stone curse. Before we can proceed to the Warlock spells, you need to use first the breakthrough points. Start with the buffs. Amplify, 10. And 5 energy coat. Also, 5 for Frost Nova to make it insta cast. Okay, now in my old build, I maxed SG for Edgar and Moonlight, but since they can now be killed easily with Tetra, I decided just to get max Lord of Vermilion for the higher level MVPs, Pashar and Garm. Okay. 
finally for the warlock skills as you can see there are 70 points left but only 60 points are usable for warlock skills the 10 is allotted for the reserve for the force focus which increases max hp first up are skills that increases damage like recognize spell and elemental enhancement Now, this skill is also a prerequisite of Tetra. Uh, requ Tetra requires level 3. But let's level this up to 5 since uh, every level gives 2% additional elemental damage. Level 6 to 10 has a different effect. We'll talk about that later. Now we can get our most powerful single target spell, Tetra. Max this out. And at this point, we have 35 Warlock skill points left. Our next target is getting the White Barrier spell. So this one requires 5 White Imprison and 3 Soul Expansion. So let's level those first. There. At level 1, you are already protected from damage, but you cannot move. So starting at level 2, moving is allowed, but with speed move speed penalty. At max level, the, the penalty is down to 50% move speed. But I think uh, level 2 is already enough. Uh, saving points for the other spells. So at this point, we already used 35 points. Uh, 25 points left. Uh, next up is Stasis. A very powerful and very useful spell in mvp hunting and oracle run with this spell you can kill spashar and time holder without any uh, problem prevents them from casting the magic damage spells like storm gas or meteor storm next up is frost misty this one turns enemy Armor 2, Water Element. It's mainly used to kill tanky MVPs like Archangeling. And also, we use this to kill Clock with Lightning Rod. Uh, max level is 10, but we only level it up to 5. So, level 5 already gives uh, max duration and max... Uh, <coughs> trigger chance level 6 to 10 have a different effect okay now we have 15 points left uh, it's a good time to get the status vulnerability for additional damage now the last 10 we can now level up the fast reading to get an additional 15% fixed cast time reduction. And finally, let's put the remaining 5 skill points to elemental enhancement. Now, the level 6 to... 10 still gives a 10% damage boost, elemental damage boost, but every level now will increase your auto attack damage by 2%. So at level 10, your auto attack damage will have a 10% more magic damage. So this can help increase your DPS and synergize as well with the fast reading second effect, the additional attack speed. 
I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.